In the previous video, we saw how Rails uses change method in active record migration and why we need a reversible migration. So in this movie, we are going to take a closer look at other method that we can use to achieve the reversible migration. We are going to achieve this using another method available in active record migration called reversible. So reversible allows us to write a specific code blocks that only get executed during up migration and during down migrations. It is very similar to the way that we normally define an up and down method but we are not defining a whole method in here it is just a small fragment of code that resides inside this change method. So in this just a fragment of course that resides inside the change method reversible also takes a block so as you can see this is the reversible that goes inside the change method and it takes a block of code since we are having the block of code here it also takes a block variable and this dir is a block variable so this block variable again has a two methods up and down here so we are going to use up and down to indicate what code we need when we are just migrating forward and what code we are going to need when we are going to migrate downwards so for this example i have assumed that we have a users table in the database and we have also a full name column in that data in that users table and we have the full name of the users in there so the full name be like say let's take my name robin and my last name so as you can see here this has been separated by space and this reside in the full name column see full name and we actually want another two columns in the database called first name and and another column called last name so we want to split this full name into the first name and last name and put the first name in the first name column and put the last name in the last name column so for this we are first trying to just go forward okay so let's see from forward point of view so first thing we need to do is we want to have the first name and last name column in the database since we have full name already we just don't need to add that or make a change to that we just add first name and last name column so reversible up goes in the forward direction so for going forward this up go up block of code gets executed so we are just trying to fetch all the users from the database and loop to them so we have u as the loop variable so we are going to assign the first name and last name to that u variable as say fetch that user and get its full name then split it in by the space that present between the between them so as you can see here this will actually split into robin separate and powell into separate so we are going to save this and the first name and last name gets assigned and it will go to save so this is all that is going to happen when we are going to into forward and the last bit of code that will get executed when moving forward is removing the column called full name so we don't need this full name since we have already split into first name and last name and this works perfectly fine so now another point of view is going from backwards so let's see how this reversible migration takes place so while going from backwards it just travels into opposite direction from downwards so see here we have the reverse column so since we are already inside this change method this change method note that the opposite or reverse of this remove column would be add column so it will just add the column called first name in the users table that has a string definition so after adding the column the next bit of in next code that is going to execute it while moving backward migration is this down method so see here the user is being faced like in here and variable in here loop variable in here and we are since we have already added the full name column in the users table then we are going to assign it into this merge it and put the space into here and we are just going to save this so another after just executing this all this and we have a full name column and this merged value this value again we have in there and so now we don't need the first name and last name column in that users table right so this is going to get up into here and this add column will just become remove column and this will also be remove column and first name and last name would get removed so this is how the reversible migration would take place so if you just want to use some kind of piece in your work then 
this is going to be a little complex but it will be very handy to make the migrations reversible so you need to practice a little bit for this and so i think if you have any problem then you can directly post into the forum in here so i can just reply you so thanks for watching this video